The radical Islamist group which provoked widespread condemnation for planning a protest in Wooden Bassett has been banned. The Home Secretary Alan Johnson said that banning Islam for UK was necessary to tackle terrorism. The group's leader has told the BBC they will carry on under another name. Here's our Home Affairs correspondent, Daniel Sanford. Among the diners in Westminster this lunchtime, members of Al Muhajaroon praying. On the day that the Home Office moved to reban or prescribe the group and the various names it uses. We've taken the view that this organisation, Islam for UK, is the same organisation that was prescribed in 2006 for glorifying terrorism. Al Muhajroon was founded by Omar Bakri Mohammed and Anjem Chowdhury in 1996. Tainted by links to British suicide bombers, it disbanded in 2004. After 7-7, Omar Bakri Mohammed left the country. But in 2006, it re-emerged under new names, al Garaba and the Saved Sect, before being banned. Anjum Chowdhury reformed al Muhajirun last year, also using the name Islam for UK. The new ban comes into force this Thursday, but he told me he had no plans to stop his often inflammatory campaign for an Islamic state in Britain. You know, I'll do all my responsibilities, but um, I certainly, obviously, I won't be doing them under that platform. So you're just going to change the name and carry on? Uh, maybe I won't have a platform at all. Uh, I'll just call myself a Muslim, so perhaps the government can think about banning Muslim or Muslims. Officials insist that the al Muhajirun ban followed a detailed assessment by the Joint Terrorism Analysis Centre based here at MI5 headquarters. They say it involved months of evidence gathering and Alan Johnson, the Home Secretary, received their report last week and acted as soon as possible. But al Muhajirun was the group that threatened last week to march through Wooten Bassett and many suspect the timing of the ban is no coincidence.